what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology again and today i am back with the charts of one of my friend he is a monk in a temple here in india in uh, kanpur and uh, this person uh, has left his home family career and he has uh, dedicated himself uh, 24 hours to serve god and to serve humanity so today uh, there are some beautiful yogas in this chart which we will discuss all right and before i begin i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him so the chart is very beautiful here oh yes and if you're new then please subscribe and if you want a consultation then please approach me through my website below and that's it this is the chart of a monk here so uh, the body details are not displayed due to security reasons and i will try my best to explain so many things i will uh, give the combinations for spirituality actually here in this chart rather than going into why this person didn't get married or why this person is uh, uh, not having a family life that's not the focus of this video okay so if you see here uh, considering the fact that the ninth house is very prominent here okay so what's the ninth house ninth house is the house of spirituality it's the house of the gurus it is the house of god it's the house where you find the highest level of philosophy highest level of fulfillment so here moon is the natural karaka for uh, spirituality also sometimes because jupiter gets exalted in cancer and moon is another sattvic planet so moon also represents the mind so here moon is in the ninth house it is in the sign of cancer so the ninth lord being in own sign that's extremely strong this yoga is very 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 strong so uh, this moon is conjunct ketu here so ketu is also the karaka for detachment for moksha so this person's mind is always geared towards moksha and jupiter is also uh, here present here so jupiter also represents spirituality religion holy people so when moon is conjunct jupiter and ketu this combination is very powerful for uh, becoming very spiritual in nature yes so that is very important in this chart and jupiter is the natural karaka for spirituality just like ketu also and both jupiter and ketu are also present in the ninth house and jupiter is in exaltation here this is a very 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 powerful combination here so jupiter is also the fifth lord so fifth ninth combination also shows uh, spiritual progress etc so now if you see carefully sun is also in the ascendant so sun is ruling the tenth house here so when tenth house tenth lord sits in the lagna this can show that the person is very 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 focused towards working in life geared up towards career services etc career not necessarily meaning career in government or politics or corporate but it can be working towards things uh, in life so this person is not much very interested in uh, setting a family etc and uh, this person always keeps telling me that you must work 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 do good for the society yes so um, these are the things which uh, had resulted in the in this person becoming a monk and serving in the temple 24 hours a day now there are so many other things if you see here that the uh, 12th lord and the 7th lord are also in the lagna venus yes so because of this uh, what what is the 12th house 12th house is the house of renunciation is the house of detachment yes so here the 12th lord is placed in the lagna yes so when now you may say venus is also the 7th lord but the multicon sign is in the 12th house so the results of the 12th house will be much more prominent than the results of the 7th house or i would say the results of the 7th house will come in line with the results of the 12th house so now what's happening here that this uh, uh 12th lord which shows detachment is placed in the lagna yes so this becomes very powerful uh, combination for taking sannyas more than the lagna lord in 12th it is the 12th lord in the lagna which i have seen becomes very prominent because when 12th lord is, is in the lagna then the person's mind is naturally gravitated towards uh, renunciation about uh, staying in the temple etc 
more than the lagna lord being in 12th because if the lagna lord is in 12th then the person may physically visit temples and stay with holy people there but that doesn't necessarily mean that's the natural uh, flow of the mind but when the 12th lord is in lagna this shows the natural flow of the mind is like that and the 10th lord son is conjunct the 12th lord so because of this the person always keeps working towards uh, different projects in the temple which he is situated in and uh, this person also has uh, a lot of friends and he is always loved by people because of Venus being in the Lagna and uh, because of 7th Lord being in the Lagna. So if you see carefully here the Lagna Lord and 7th Lord are in exchange, yes. So because of this, uh, this whenever the Lagnesh and the 7th Lord are conjunct or in mutual exchange or in mutual aspect this can show that the person gets along with other people very easily yes or he or she is loved by others very much and that is also true here that this person is very much loved by so many others and he is always wanted by whoever uh, is wanting to get things done due to some reason or the other so this person is very good in dealing with, dealing with other people here yes and there are so many other combinations here if you see Ketu is the Karaka for detachment it is Kanjang moon but it also aspects the Lagna here yes so whenever Ketu aspects the Lagna the natural temperament of the person is that the person likes to be detached very much and there are so many other combinations which uh, as I said the fifth lord Jupiter is in the ninth it is also aspecting the Lagna yes so fifth lord is also uh, very good for spirituality being the ruler of the triangles here and uh, if you check carefully here Mercury is also the uh, eighth lord in the chart considering number three signed to be Gemini here so eighth lord placed in the second house this can show some uh, second house is generally what it is the house of wealth finances money family etc so when eighth lord is linked this can show that the person is not very much interested in uh, money or having a family etc yes and it is also conjunct the fourth lord which is showing home settlement etc so when these two lords are conjunct then uh, this can show some kind of uh, disinterest in family life yes so uh, that is it and then if you see the sixth lord which is the house of celibacy so the lord of celibacy is again in the house of marriage here yes and venus the natural karaka for marriage is also combust in this chart so sun is in they are both in seven degrees i guess so a very important fact of his life is to stay away from women and this person is naturally disinterested in women and in mundane affairs in family life etc nobody told him that you stay unmarried but this person always used to tell me i don't want to marry i want to serve god i want to serve humanity etc etc so these are some of the things uh, which are very prominent in this chart and now many of you will ask me oh my god i have a combust venus oh my god my sixth lord is in seventh i will not have a marriage etc etc no i never said anything like this but what i am saying is the most important thing uh, pertaining to a monk is that he should be very spiritual in nature and that is because of this ninth house connection here and the other things pertaining to marriage and venus those are just details because even if you uh, have a good or bad venus but if your ninth house is not strong or you do not have the ninth lord well placed uh, or uh, if there are other problems in the ninth house then you may not be able to continue your uh, ashram as a celibate as a monk so just because somebody has these combinations now somebody may say from India that oh he's a monk that's why he didn't get married but there are millions of people who are monk Mars in the seventh house but they get married millions of people who have Venus combust they also get married yes so these combinations for marriage for denial of uh, uh, denial of family which is there here is only working because of the ninth house here yes so if the ninth house would not have these planets then this person would get married and uh, he would have settled uh, with a wife with a family so in some other place maybe but because the ninth house is strong so this person naturally is disinterested in marriage yes this person is uh, 
not very much interested in mundane affairs because fourth house is the house of settlement and ninth house is sixth from the fourth house so because of that this person says i am least interested in settling uh, settling in a home and this person keeps traveling because three nine are houses of travel and 12th lord is also in the lagna yes so that is it uh, what i wanted to say in this chart that these are beautiful combinations for spiritual progress here and so many other yogas are there in this chart about which i will not speak now and uh, if you want a consultation then approach me to my website and if you are new to the channel then please uh, subscribe and if uh, you have any questions queries or comments pertaining to this chart or the board details then uh, i am sorry i can't give the board details this person has said me not to give it okay so that is it from my side and don't just create uh, unnecessary fear by sharing this chart with others that oh my god this person has mars in the seventh he didn't get married so i will also not get married okay so nothing like that many people have these combinations but still they get married you have to check the divisional charts and the nakshatras degrees and padas where venus the seventh house seventh lord are placed but in this video i wanted to demonstrate the importance of the ninth house all right that is it from my side. Wish you good luck. Bye-bye. See you.